everybody. Uh, just wanted to give you an update. Uh, I, I did a video about, uh, excuse the wind, the background noise here. I did a video uh, about a week ago and something happened in my phone and it, it got messed up and I couldn't upload it. But uh, <clears throat> we had a severe storm that came through. Uh, hail, a lot of hail, about 20 minutes of quarter sized hail brutal just came down it obliterated everything out here man i'm trying to get a close-up last so these leaves you can look, look look at this yeah it looked like an insect attack these no this was hail it just chopped through these plants look at the peppers damage to the just took chunks out of the peppers uh look at these matadors bombarded them just it, it was like uh, insects attack down here probably from a chunk getting taken out but yeah look it just it just whacked these things so hard uh, i'm gonna have very few of these peppers that are out here i mean i'm believe me what i'm telling you like these things these pots were filled filled with with ice they had about two inches of ice and it was impossible to come out here. And look at this reaper plant, man. How sad is this? They just started churning red. Um, hardly any leaves. The leaves are just, just, just plucking off the plant. I mean, there's nothing. It, it, it's. They all went into shock. They took a beat and a half. Uh, I'm telling you, I, I wish the video had had saved. Thing going through, but. Uh, you can just see like what happened to these leaves. I mean, just obliterated by by hail. It was unbelievable. I've never seen hail. We live in an area where uh, that's a rare thing, man. I mean, just look look at this. The plants not not only just took a beating from uh, these are black maruga scorpions. Um, not not only I mean they're still looking good. Knock on wood. I lost about, I'm going to say, three pounds of peppers were literally knocked off of the plants that I had to scavenge off the ground and out of the pots. Um, <clears throat> some of the ones that were underneath the, the overhang here, uh, not so bad. They, they, they fared well. They're still in good shape. There's all the ones on the, out, the outer parts of the steps here, and even in the backyard. And we'll take a walk back there just to show you the amount of damage that took place. Uh, never mind my truck. My truck is all pockmarked from uh, from the hail and the hood and everything. You know, unbelievable. I've never seen hail like that in this area. You usually get like, you know, pea size for a minute or two. And this was like 20 minutes straight of, of, of like I said, quarter size hail. Look at this. Just, they're just falling off the plant. The leaves, the plants went into shock. Uh, it just just split split open by hail yeah. imagine sandblasting your plant look, look, look at these these black pearls look at all, all this white that you see on the leaves all hail damage all of it what a beating the plants took i'm going to take you inside my uh well man we'll take you inside but, but take a look at this uh, this uh, screen house obliterated like somebody took a uh, buckshot to it Look at this, unbelievable. A hail, a thunderstorm did this. Just, uh, just blew everything apart, man. So, I'm still finding peppers that, that are knocked on the ground from, from that. I mean, this was no good now, it's getting soft, but uh, you know, I, I guess what I'm trying to say is, uh, have a plan B, you know? When something like that's rolling in, like I said, you know, we always get severe thunderstorm warnings here in Rhode Island. That's that's not a big surprise uh, <clears throat> on a hot day, you know. And it's like, oh, gusty winds and hail possible. You never see it. You never see it. But, yeah, well, this time we saw it. Look, look at these leaves. Destroyed. De these plants are devastated. Look, even limbs. Look, look at this. Look at this. Blown apart. Like, like limbs just snapped. Just gonna take that right off the plant, you know. But we got a lot of peppers left. As you can see, there's a lot of healthy, a lot of healthy peppers. Uh, I'm gonna drop my phone here. I'm gonna drop my phone here.
you're operating the pepper plant. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you enjoyed the trip, folks. <laughs> um, yeah, take a, take a look at this. Uh, look at that. Oh, I'll try to get the zoom in here. Uh, why am I losing focus here for some reason? Yeah, look at that. That's the result of hail hitting the top of the pepper, split it. Now it's rotted. That pepper's rotted. It's no good. So we're just going to pluck that one right off. Discard of it. <clears throat> now, had I known this was coming, uh, you know, I could have maybe draped a tarp over them or something. Just look at the plants themselves, like just yellow. They, they've gone into shock, you know? It, it, it's really sad. Really sad. Um, again, had I known it was coming, I could have draped a tarp over this and maybe prevented some of this damage. Uh, but it, it is what it is. I still have a lot of peppers. I'm not going to complain. Uh, these are some beauties right here. Look, look at these things, man. They look like they're on fire, don't they? They look like 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 glowing embers or charcoal or something. Look at these things. That, they are beautiful. These are called pink tigers. Some of them are still black, but absolutely very hot. Very, very hot. I tried one the other day. Very hot. Um, <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, like I said, have a plan B because you don't know what's going to happen weather-wise. Get ready, protect your plants if they're outdoors. I, I, I would have killed for a screen, uh, greenhouse, you know what I'm kidding? You know? Kidding me? God, that would have saved my plants. But, again, I can't complain. I still got a lot to go. I have probably already harvested at least three well probably six pounds of super hots and about six pounds of regular hots so far and i got a lot more to go they're not going to be pretty they're going to be marked up and all but you know i'm not selling the whole peppers so you know well even tomatoes tomatoes good damn it. look at this guy right down here look at him look at these that's all from hail hail damage Hail damage. Like, it's unbelievable. I, 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 I wanted to cry when I saw the uh, the hail coming down like that. It, it was devastating. But uh, I got a decent amount. We're still going to harvest a lot of peppers still. Um, but have, have, a, have a backup plan, you know? That, that you can take your plants in or something or I, you can't take in this many plants that that's impossible you know i got 60 something strains between the front here and the back and, and that's impossible but you know maybe some cover or something like that I mean, even just uh succulents um my girlfriend's succulents she put out here look at these things like just beat up beat up damaged split pockmarked i just i mean unbelievable I can't, I've never seen hail like that up here in my life. Never. That, I mean, when I tell you folks there was two inches of hail on my deck, I'm not exaggerating. And I wish the video had saved. I mean, I'm, I'm still going to try to recover it, maybe to do an update uh, on this video. But uh, my kids were out there shoveling it and like scooping up in their hands. It was unbelievable. It looked like February here. And the plants just took a beating and went into shock. So... <clears throat> Um, we still did all right, though. I, I, I'm gonna still have enough to do the projects I wanted to do, make the things I wanted to make. Um, a lot of seasonings coming up, a lot of sauces, a lot of hot sauces. I still have a lot of peppers to use, and some of these super hots, man. Believe me, it doesn't take much at all. Um, and, and I'll tell you, I got my hands on. Uh, I probably shouldn't even be showing this. Um, uh, down here, this guy right here. If you folks don't know what that is, that is uh, Pepper X. Now, I'm hoping everybody here keep their keep their mouths shut. Um, <laughs> Nobody is supposed to have those seeds. Ed Curry, the the guy who sold them, well, who created it, rather. Uh, the maker of the Carolina Reaper has not uh, released those seeds, and I don't know how 
it's none of my business how they became available. I bought them legally. And uh was out here, but um I bought them legally and that's all I need to know. So whether or not he's made them public, maybe somebody worked for him or whatever, snuck some out and they became a, he's had that pepper for quite a while, long before they just announced it, the, hot, the newest, hottest pepper in the world. And I did try it and believe me you, it is no joke. <clears throat> so it's uh, way harder than a reaper. I even have my own hybrid down here. Uh, I created here the poltergeist. These are my own hybrid, and again, I'm not, I'm not saying what, uh, I'll try to get these out of the way. Not saying what I made these out of, uh, I, by the name, I'm sure you can figure out one of the parent plants, you know, poltergeist, that's not hard to figure out. Um, <clears throat> but, it is an insanely brutal pepper. Insane. You, you want to hurt and hurt for a long time, and you eat one of these. It, it, it's it did what I sought out to do <laughs> and it was an experiment and I have another uh, another hybrid of mine uh, I'm trying to find them at the moment I don't think there's any ripe ones just these green ones these are called tall boy scorpions um, they're basically elongated maruga scorpions basically is what they are that's another hybrid of mine uh, called tall boy scorpions so Really happy to have those. You know, we got the traditional. You know, these guys here. These are called Dragon's Breath. Uh, I'll try to zoom in here. These are Dragon's Breaths. These guys were originally made for to make pepper spray from. Uh, uh, arguably harder than a Carolina Reaper. And I've eaten the Reaper. I've eaten those, and I can tell you that Pepperex has beaten both out. It is insanely hot, insanely hot. And that does not take away from, uh, that does not take away from this guy down here. This guy is called the Kraken Scorpion. Still, to this date, the worst pepper I've ever eaten right here. The Kraken Scorpion. I'm not sure what the parent plants are. Oh, obviously, one of the scorpion, but that thing. There's some. There's a couple ripened up down here, uh, as you can see. I mean, they took a little beating, but that thing had me on the floor for about 45 minutes, wishing I was dead. That is an insanely painful pepper, <clears throat> far beyond any burn. That, you can go back and watch my videos. I, I think I recorded that one. I had to stop the video. It was that intense. More painful than any Reaper I've eaten or anything like that. So, I don't suggest anybody ever try a Kraken Scorpion. <laughs> that was intense experience. Stabbing pains all the way down from the mouth to the stomach. Uh, these guys up here are pretty cool too. Check out the color of these things. These are called Nazgul's Breakfast. Um, not sure what the parent plants are, but insanely hot. Just smelling these things when you cut them open will take your breath away. It, it's it's nuts. So <clears throat> anyway, I wanted to show you the damage that was done by the uh, by the hail here, and how Mother Nature can just come through and obliterate everything you've worked so hard for and destroy it in a matter of minutes. It's, if not seconds, it really sucked. It sucked hard. And well, lesson learned, keep some tarps ready. I, I'll be honest with you, it was coming down so hard and heavy, I don't even know if I could have came out here with tarps to cover these things. The wind was insane. And I probably would have been, you know, my 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 head would have looked like these peppers and these plants. I, you know, this that's this stuff would have split your head open. It, it was unbelievable. I would have been bleeding. I would have been hurting. You would have had to have like a helmet of some kind, and you know, something to weigh down your top. I don't even know if that would have helped, but it's something to keep in mind that can indeed happen. And 
you got to be ready for it, you know. But we're doing good. Like I said, we got plenty already, and I got a lot more to go. They're resilient plants. They'll, they'll, what's on the plant, I, I don't, I'm not expecting any new growth, any new flowering, nothing. And especially this, you know, we're in September now. That's not going to happen. Even the latest of the plants has started this summer with, with, with these guys here. These are uh, pink seven pot peppers. And again, obliterated leaves just falling right off. You don't even have to pull on them. They just literally just shed right off the right off the stalk. Um, and these guys are supposed to turn pink when ripe, but again, look at the damage done to them. They got holes in them, you know. Uh, will they ripen? Hopefully, get a couple of them anyway. Save some seeds, but uh, yeah, I mean, you just see the seed, uh, the leaf. I mean, this, this was, you couldn't even see, it was covered in leaves. It was unbelievable after the storm. But, uh, yeah, greenhouse, that's the way to go, folks. That's all I can say, greenhouse. Of course, I can imagine, I, I was really shocked that, you know, a greenhouse would, you know, it would probably get blown apart too, but I was shocked here that the windows didn't get blown out of this house or, or even my truck over here, because that stuff was coming out sideways and just pelting the, the windows and the house and I really thought I was going to come out to some broken glass and uh, it, it was so bad you know lightning bolts well we had a lightning bolt whack this tree right here the front yard uh, the telephone pole it, it was intense kids were crying it, it was brutal it was brutal kids were scared but we still got some peppers and uh We'll go from there. I just wanted to keep you guys updated. Not that anybody cares. <laughs> yeah, maybe some of you do. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, have that plan B. Like I said, if you can, if you have something to protect your plants or a way to protect your plants, because Mother Nature can uh, throw a wrench in everything you've done. Trust me. We don't expect that up here in this area in New England. You know, that's, that's a very rare thing. But, uh it happens it does happen so all right boys and girls i uh, hope everybody's having a great uh, labor day long weekend and we're just relaxing today and uh, harvested a bunch of peppers and i'm gonna get them into the dehydrator and uh even everything that was knocked off don't worry don't worry that was did not go to waste that's going to turn into a seasoning, and uh, it's going to have its own special name. We'll get back to you on that one later. <laughs> All right. Have a great day, everybody. Um, hey, if anyone has any ideas on how to protect your plants out here in the open like this, when you can't move them indoors or anything, shoot some ideas, I, I, I am open to all suggestions. All right, everybody. Have a great day.